Hi there. Today, I'm taking you 2,000 years back in time. At that time, there was a man called Paul, who was a great example for me. Paul was the successful man who gave up all earthly wealth in order to follow in Jesus' footsteps. Paul had a bright future. He was born into a respected family, and when he was about 14 years old, he was sent to Jerusalem to become a Jewish Pharisee. A Pharisee was a person who knew a lot about the Jewish teachings and laws. Many of them were powerful, and they used their power to make sure that everyone followed the rules as they thought were right. One thing that Paul and the other Pharisees thought was completely wrong was to believe that Jesus is the true Savior that had risen from the dead. Now that Jesus isn't around anymore, nobody is going to believe in him anyway. But don't you see that more and more people are joining the Christians? It must be because of that man preaching in the streets. What was his name again? Ugh. Stephen. You always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. And now you have become betrayers. That man, Stephen, he is one of the most persistent Christians here in Jerusalem. We must get him. If we kill him, we'll stop the others too. The Pharisees got the people along with them to attack Stephen. Paul was with the crowd too and saw everything that happened. Then they broke into all the Christian homes and threw them into jail. And Paul was one of the most zealous persecutors of the Christians. He did everything he could to wipe out all faith in Jesus. And he was willing to go further than most other people. Honored High Priest, many Christians have escaped from Jerusalem. Let me go to Damascus to bring them back. Then we can arrest them too. These Christians mocking God in that way. God has not sent any son to earth. If he had, then the holy men in Jerusalem would have known about it. What a disgrace. Paul! Paul! Why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up now and stand on your feet. I have shown myself to you for this purpose, to make you a servant and witness, both of the things that you have seen and of the things you will see when I save you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them to open their eyes so they turn from darkness to light, from Satan's power to God. I can't see. Jesus, where are you? Let's keep going to Damascus. Jesus? God's own son? Using me? Paul was blind for three days. He neither ate 
nor drank. Ananias. Here I am. Jesus? Find Paul and lay your hands on him so that he gets his sight back again. But, Jesus, I have heard of all the evil he has done, and now he wants to throw everyone in jail. Go, for I have chosen him to tell all the people about me, including kings and the people of Israel. My brother, Jesus has sent me so that you can get your sight back and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ananias realized that Paul had completely changed. Before, Paul had been proud of his power and fought against the Christians. But now, he got a completely different goal in life. He had met Jesus. You know what? I thought I had everything I could wish for. Knowledge, money, and power. But now I see that it's not worth anything. It was all just waste, because now I have seen Jesus. And what He can give is worth so much more. That man Paul, have you heard about him? He must have been insane. Isn't he the one who wanted to wipe out all Christians? And now, he has become one of Jesus' followers himself. When we find him, we're going to kill him. But where could Paul have been hiding? At least he won't be able to sneak out of here. <laughs> They're still looking for you, Paul, but we're going to get you safely out of town. Just lie completely still. Paul went from being a Pharisee with wealth and power to being persecuted as a Christian. He did this because he had met Jesus and he knew that everything else was worth nothing compared to serving him. And the same goes for us. We too can have Jesus as our Lord and Master. Nothing in this world is worth more than that. Next time, you'll hear about what happened with Paul now that he had taken Jesus as master in his life. But for now, thanks for following along with this story, and we'll see each other again in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya!